Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLTF underscore tech channel and today we will talk about uh, the comparison between workflow and plugin in Dynamics CRM. Those who are new developers of uh, Dynamics CRM, they often get confused about uh, workflows and plugins as they cannot differentiate between them and uh, they cannot also differentiate whether to use which, which is to be used at what stage. So this video will be a theoretical video and would uh, guide all those who have uh, ambiguities about the workflows and plugins in Dynamics CRM. If we talk about uh, plugins, they are generally preferred for synchronous logics, while workflows for asynchronous logics. As we have already studied about synchronous and asynchronous type of plugins and workflows in our previous slides, uh, videos, so it would be clear that uh, we prefer plugins for synchronous logics and workflows for asynchronous logics. Similarly, to implement complex uh, to implement complex business logics, plugins are preferred over workflows. Workflows are preferred when you want to achieve relatively easier functionalities. As workflows are normally available in out-of-the-box solution, you uh, do not need to write uh, your code uh, except in custom workflows. You just create the workflows based on uh, the statements uh, that are already configured. You just need to set the values and uh, finalize the workflow and activate it to uh, make the event trigger on some particular uh, situations but if you want to implement complex business logics you have to uh, develop your own code in uh, through plugins plugin needs to be developed with coding okay uh, microsoft dynamics doesn't give you uh, an interface a graphical interface of uh, developing the plugins you have to configure them in your own uh, logics and uh, then apply them in dynamics but if we talk about workflows they can be configured directly by business users which we will also see in upcoming videos without any knowledge of workflows so workflows can run on demand hence if there are requirements where the user wants to run some logic manually workflows would be a better choice so uh, workflows uh, can also be better choice because they are uh, introduced by dynamic crm itself you use the dynamic crm processes module to configure the workflows as it is the integral part of the dynamic crm it does not uh, contradict with any of the core operation while on the other hand uh, you develop the plugin so the plugin after registration in dynamic crm have to be passed through some stages that are known as plugin execution pipeline which we studied in our previous topic so during plugin execution pipeline pre-validation pre-operation are the processes in which uh, the plugin is uh, sent through a package work package to the web services of crm where it checks dynamic crm checks whether it is contradicting with any core operation or not if it is all clear to go then only the dynamic crm web services allow that plugin to be executed otherwise it may modify that plugin as well so uh, workflows always remain a better choice for that purpose from performance impacts and cross plugins provide a better performance and throughput as compared to real-time workflows and scenarios where the request frequency is higher okay if the uh, execution frequency is relatively higher then we do not uh, prefer the uh, asynchronous plugins we configure it uh, so that it uh, consume minimum memory in an asynchronous processes so these are uh, development point of view uh, the comparison of workflows and plugins in our upcoming videos we are going to see practically how we can configure the workflows and how we can uh, develop a plugin and register it in our dynamic crm for execution so guys continue enjoy watching more videos and my new visitors are requested to subscribe my channel and enjoy watching more videos i thank you all